started here. Welcome in Cancer. I'm Marie. This is Indigo Earth Tarot. Thank you for coming into the channel. It's really nice to have you here. If you're new to the channel, I'd like to welcome you in. We'd also like to welcome in your cross watchers. Cross watchers, you are here to find out what's going on with your cancer. Some of this message could be for you. Remember that energies do go both ways, so feel free to interpret the messages as it relates to your personal situation. And the messages that are coming through for you, Cancer, should reflect some aspect of your current situation, although it does not have to reflect the whole thing, or it could just confirm an inner knowing. So as always, take what fits and don't try to make something fit if it doesn't fit. I will have an extended at the end of this reading. I'm going to dive deeper into the messages coming through by exploring all the zodiac signs that show up in your reading. Those zodiac signs are about personal connections and intimate relationship or relationships. So... You should have more than one zodiac connection in your life. Maybe one that's an intimate and one that's a you know um, personal connection, best friend, sibling, parent, grandparent, something like that. <clears throat> so this is for Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising. Messages for those watching, please. Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon. Messages for those watching, please. For those of you that um, support the channel, thank you so much. If you like the content being shared, please support the channel by liking and subscribing so other cancers can get the messages that might be needed for them as well. I got one more shuffle going for you here, Cancer. All right, here we go. So overall energetic theme for the reading, you have the Five of Swords. Um, could be something to do with competition. Could be something to do with um, disagreements. We'll see where that goes, okay? Let's see what's going on with you right now. What's happening? What's the situation? We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Moon. Someone is very much taking their time about either bringing in an apology or letting letting them letting you know they love you. Remember, this could be you. This could be the other person. Um, they're kind of taking their dear sweet time, and you don't know what's going on, you know. Is this person here? Is this person not here? You know, are they going to apologize? Are they not going to apologize? Like, what is going on here? Are they, do they love me? Do they not love me? Like, what's happening? Like, there's no movement. So, let's see why this is happening. What's going on? We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Page of Swords. And we have the Ace of Swords. So, if this has to do with an apology, um, someone knows that they're kind of going to be forgiven anyway. They're watching you or they're watching from a distance, maybe how you're reacting or what you're doing or when the time is right or when they feel like your defenses are down a little bit because they know that they're going to have to come forth here with some transparency. Um, this could be you, you know, if you have to apologize to somebody, maybe you're just kind of waiting. You know, this to me is a matriarch kind of energy like somebody is it's kind of like a like you know your mom's always gonna love you and you know your mom is always gonna forgive you well not everybody's mom but some people's moms you know at least over 50 60 percent of them you know if you do something wrong they're gonna you know hug you and forgive you and help you clean your wound give you a band-aid and kind of set you on your way and I think someone's kind of banking on that type of response here. That, you know, they don't need to rush in because they know there's love here and that they're going to be forgiven anyway. But they are still watching you. So let's see where is this going to go. We have the Emperor. We have the Two of Wands. And we have Temperance. 
This is going to go either way this time. Um, I think there's a, a certain direction that needs to be followed. Um, and I think there's a sacrifice that has to be made at this point. Because we'll see if the Wheel of Fortune comes up. I don't know if this is a pattern in this situation or in this connection. We'll see if that shows up. But I think that um, somebody might take matters into their own hands here. Because this is kind of a control tactic. You know, because if you're sorry, you just come and say you're sorry. <laughs> you're not holding out to like, you know, see what the other person's doing, how they're reacting. You know, maybe this person feels like there's going to be an argument, so they want to stay away from it. Like they know there's going to have to be some transparency. Um, you know, somebody could be using this as like a control tactic. But I think that... Um, I think this could go, this may possibly, but could go in another direction this time. So let's see. Let's find out. This is kind of interesting. Um, let's find out what this person's waiting on. Are they coming? Are they not coming? What is this person doing? If this is you, I don't feel like this is you, but it could be. We have the King of Cups, so there's love here. There's deep love. It's mature love, although they may not be acting like it, right? We have the star, and we have the ace of pentacles. Well, somebody's waiting on this apology. Somebody's taking their time, and somebody's waiting. There's a deep love here, right? You, somebody's hoping for a brand new beginning. Don't know if it's coming, you know. Um, somebody's using this as a control piece, but somebody's definitely waiting, and I think somebody's knowing that you're waiting. And so it's like they're trying to cause some, some form of response, you know, even if it's not the best response. They're trying to get some form of response out of you or maybe you out of the other person. I can't quite, I can't quite figure out who's who. I don't think this is you, but it could be. But there's a deep love here, definitely. So let's see what the Queen of Pentacles is. Someone could be a little bit overly motherly. Somebody could be a little bit overly, you know, kind of smothering, too. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Tower. It kind of seems like someone's trying to get your goat a little bit here to get a response out of you. I think that they know that if they, you know, come back around the Wheel of Fortune, because right now you're not feeling too good about this, but I think they know if they come back around Wheel of Fortune that you'll change, you know what I mean? You're, you're going to change going from maybe this person who's like looking for a battle to forgiveness here. This person might be biding their time, you know, they're waiting for that opportune moment here to like swoop in. You know, it might come it might come when you least expect it. Know that they are watching you. So let's get this page of swords. Five of Pentacles.
Four of Cups. Seven of Wands. So someone here is being very stubborn. Um, and they're just kind of watching. They're alone too. They may be lonely. Um, but they're trying to see if you're also lonely or if you're alone. I don't know. Is this person trying to set you up? This is like so weird. But they're, you know, they seem to be, they want to gain some leverage here to see if you're, you know, you're, you're feeling the loss at all. They're watching to see, you know, are you being defensive? You know, are you being stubborn? Are you, you know, here, here's where you're being vulnerable when you're feeling the loss. So they're waiting for that opportune time to come in. They're looking to see if you're still defensive. They're looking to see if you're still like disgusted. Or if you're at a place where you're vulnerable and they can come in. Ugh. So let's see what the Ace of Swords is. <coughs> we have the King of Wands. So they're going to burst onto the scene. They're going to sweep you off your feet. <laughs> They're going to come in like a bandit. I think they're trying to avoid the, um, yeah, they're coming in when they know that it's going to be a win-win situation for them. When you're in a vulnerable place, they're going to swoop in, come in out of the blue, the tower, right? They're waiting for the divine timing here. They know that you might be feeling really bad. You know, maybe they're feeling bad. It looks to me like they're, you know, well, maybe they're just not apologizing yet because they're waiting for the right time. Um, but I think that, you know, their hope is, I mean, there is love here. I think their hope is to, um, you know, begin again with this situation. Maybe they know you're hurt. I don't know. Maybe they know you're angry. And they don't want to deal with the anger. They want to wait until the anger is like subsided. This is this is kind of a control piece here. But when this person feels confident, yep, look at that. Here they come. <laughs> look at look at this little look at this guy. That's hilarious. Cheesing all the way through. Can you see that? He's got a great big old cheese on his face. Um this person's going to come in out of the blue. They're waiting for the opportune time when they know you're in a vulnerable place. That's when they're going to feel most confident and when they know that, you know, the king of wands, I, I'm here. Hello. You've been waiting for me. I showed up. You know, honor it. All right. Let's look at the emperor. So how's this all going to play out here? And again, that is a control, that is a way to control the situation. It's also a way to control your emotions. Yep, we have the lovers. And we have the wheel. This is a pattern of behavior, Cancer. This is something that happens quite a bit. This isn't the first time this has happened. Um... This is a way to control the relationship, to make it go in the direction you want, they want it to go into, or you, you know, I, I'm, it looks like it might be them, but I don't know, can't be sure yet. Um, Cause someone's ready for a battle here, right? But someone also wants to win. And King of Wands never wants to lose. So whoever's playing this King of Wands role, they don't want to lose. So they're waiting until the time is, you know, when you're in a vulnerable place. When you're not going to be defensive, when you're not going to argue with them, when you're not going to put up a fight. And then they're going to communicate. There you go. And this is a way to control the situation. You got the eight of wands in here. That's when they're going to communicate. Um, and this is something that has been repetitive in this connection here. So let's see what the two of wands is.
I mean, at this point, this can go either way, in either direction. But I'm not quite sure where you're at with this yet. Oh, you're starting to figure things out. Awakening. But you could be thinking to give this person a second chance. Nope, the Queen of Swords showed up. She is the bullshit detector. And we have the Knight of Swords. Um, I think you're starting to figure these things out. I think you're starting to see the direction that it's going to go. And I think you're starting to figure things out. We got the Queen of Swords here. That's a bullshit detector. And we've got Awakening. You're giving this another look. You're giving this some, some reconsideration. Um, you might have some things to say when this person shows up. Maybe you're going to, you know... Let them have it. I don't know. Let her have it. Or, you know, get something off your chest here. But um, you're definitely reconsidering, like, looking at taking, giving this a second look. I think that this person wants a, you know, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth chance. Um, I don't know that you're going to, I don't know that you're going to go for it. It doesn't look like it here. I, I think you're getting to the point now where it's like you can smell you can smell the game, Five of Swords, a mile away. So let's see what Temperance is. You're still kind of riding the fence, though. It's like you're considering it, you know, you're considering it, but you just, you haven't quite taken the steps yet. But boy, are you reviewing. You are reviewing. Because you probably just don't like this feeling, being in this feeling all the time. So we got Temperance. Clarify temperance. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, an Aquarius, a Pisces, a Saggy, a Scorpio. We got Scorpio again. Sagittarius, Gemini, Aries is coming in. So what is temperance? Let's get let's get find out what temperance is here. This is kind of gonna wrap it up. We have the Ten of Wands, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Pentacles. I'm, well, I mean, Cancer, it kind of looks like you might have some patience with it this time, but it's, it's on its last leg here, Ten of Wands. Um, you know, you might try again, work, you know, might work hard. There's an exchange here. You know, maybe you need to see, you know, this person do put some work into it or put some effort into it or, you know, make some changes here to take responsibility and do some things differently. Um, you know, in order to offer this person some patience and, you know, to be, you know, make this sacrifice again, um, this person's going to have to put in some work and really show forth some effort. You need to see something first before you make this exchange. It, you might be making the exchange, but you need to see something before you do. So I've got Scorpio coming in. I've got Sagittarius. I've got Aries. I've got Gemini coming in, in case you're dealing with any of those. I have Sagittarius again and Scorpio again. Cancer. Cancer Pisces, Aquarius, and I think that's it. So I'm going to look at those signs in the extended. The link to that is in the description box below for those of you that want to go over there with me. And I'm just going to pull a quick oracle card here for you. So this is for our Cancers. What does Cancer need to know here? By the way, Cancer, I also think that you're going to tell this person that you 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 know you see what's going on here. I think you're going to call them out on their their behavior. I 
think things through. Well, that's what you're doing here. Awakening, Queen of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. Think things through. Give me one more, please. That might be it. Might not be getting another one here, Cancer. Is anybody going to come out? There we go. Yep, very likely. And that's what's coming in over here. So that's what I have for you this week, Cancer. I hope this helped. And until the next reading, Grand Rising Cancers. For those of you going on, the link to the extended is in the description box below. I'll be over there waiting. Bye-bye.